like it in Tennessee. But look, y'all, I hope y'all doing good today and everything. I hope y'all got good weather where y'all at. And y'all, let's go ahead and do the housekeeping. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also, hit the bell to be notified so you'll know when I drop a video and stuff. And y'all, if you got time, go on and watch them commercials for your girl if you got time. If you snowed in and stuff. But look, y'all, if it's cold where you at, or even if it ain't cold, we're going to make us a cowboy stew today, y'all, because it's a little chilly here before the spring come tomorrow. And, and, you know, the warm weather come tomorrow, we're going to go to make a uh, cowboy stew today, okay? Go on and look in this pot. I gotta, I went ahead and put some slices of bacon in here. You, you can omit this part if you don't like bacon, but I like that bacon grease. <laughs> I like that bacon grease. Girl, they already smell good. She just started cooking. I got that maple, that maple uh, Oscar Mayo bacon. Mmm. Girl. Okay. Then, I got like a, uh, a half of an onion right here. I'm going to go ahead. This is like a one pot meal too. You ain't got to wash a lot of dishes. I got a half of an onion right here. I'm going to cook that with it. Okay, it's real simple, y'all. You can omit this, but I like green peppers. I'm going to put half of a green pepper in here. And I'm going to just let that cook. The sun shining bright, y'all, like it's already warm outside, but it's tricking us. It's tricking us. But it ain't going to be as cold as yesterday. Yesterday, it was that hawk. I don't know if y'all know what hawk is, but if you come around the wintertime, and if you go to them northern states, you know them hawk is. That hawk, when it hits you, baby, it, you hold your body a different way. <laughs> you hold your body a different way. And when you try to walk slow, you don't walk slow, though, bro. You, I mean, you on your tippy toes, like, getting it. Because that hawk is nothing to play with. And that's what we had yesterday, that hawk. <laughs> we had that hawk, baby. And we were trying to walk fast. We had some ice in certain places. You can't walk too fast on ice, but baby, it make you want to walk fast. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this bacon do what it do. And let the onions and the bell peppers cook down. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do next, okay? But uh, yeah, I'll be right back. I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I took the onions and bell peppers out. So now I just got the bacon left in there. I'm going to let that cook some more. And also I'm going to put uh, some kielbasa sausage in here. Kielbasa, however you pronounce it. Okay. One package of that. And I'm just going to saute this. Get a balsa in here with the bacon. Get that, get that flavor in there. And when it get almost done, I'll put like a tablespoon of uh, uh, garlic in it. And then I'm gonna take this out once it get done. I'm gonna take it out, and we're gonna uh, fry us a, a pound of ground beef. I'm gonna put a little complete seasoning in there with them. A little complete seasoning. Just let her fry up. Let her fry up with the bacon. Get all that goodness together. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let it fry up a 
little bit and I'm gonna come back when I put the uh, garlic in there with them. I'll be right back. Hey okay, y'all, I'm gonna put this tablespoon of garlic in here. And I'm just gonna let that get fragrant with the sausage and the bacon. Ooh, girl, if you can smell this kitchen. And this is the kielbasa uh, sausage I use, y'all. That's what I use, okay? Okay. And I'm about to take this out. Okay, I'm going to uh, put this in a container. And uh, then we'll be back with the sausage, okay? Be right back. Okay, y'all, I got a pound of ground beef in here. I already put the uh, the sausage and the bacon in a separate container because we're going to put it all together in a minute. But look, we're going to put some complete seasoning in this hamburger meat. Some complete seasoning. Okay. We're going to put some garlic salt. Some salt, garlic salt in the, uh, in the mix. Okay, and we're gonna put some adobo. Okay, and we're just gonna cook that together. Y'all already know this is gonna be fine. Y'all already know. Okay, we're gonna cook this up. After we cook this last meat, that's when we're gonna start putting everything together. Put it all together. So I'm gonna brown this up and I'm gonna drain the grease off of it. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna come back when we uh putting everything together. All right, girl, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Okay, I already drained the uh, grease off the hamburger meat. Now I'm gonna put the sausage and onions, I mean sausage and uh bacon back in the pot. Also, I'm gonna put some potatoes. That's like uh, two and a half potatoes that I cut up. I'm gonna put a little pepper. Put a little pepper. Okay. Those are rusted potatoes, but you can use red potatoes or whatever potatoes you want to use. Okay. I'm going to put the uh, sauteed onions and bell peppers back in here. Okay. Get up. She already cute. She already cute. Okay. Now, uh, I'm gonna use uh, two uh, 16 ounces of baked beans, bushes baked beans. You can use uh, pinto beans, whatever beans you wanna use. I wanna use baked beans, so. I'm gonna use two of these. They different flavors. One is original and one is brown sugar. Okay. Now we we acting like some cowboys now, so you know we acting like some cowboys. Ooh, oh she already cute. Then we're gonna put a can of drained corn. Drain your corn, okay? Then I have some fire roasted diced tomatoes. Put that in now. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Somebody's stomach for that baby. Full of. Ah, uh, what? What you talking about? Okay. Now, we're going to put some Rotel. 
Rotel juices and all. Okay. Rotel. And I'm gonna put uh one can of stewed tomatoes. Okay. And then I'm gonna put you can either put water. I'm going to put uh, beef broth because I like flavor. What you talking about? I like flavor. Okay. I'm going to use, let me see. Let me just fill up a can of beef broth. Okay. Just use one can and I use beef broth. Okay. Then we just gonna let this do. We're gonna let it cook a uh, simmer for about an hour. And baby, you already see how she looking. You already see how she looking. Quit playing. Okay. Quit playing with her. And if you want to add any additional seasonings to her, I'm going to wait till she starts cooking good so I can tell if I need to add something else. But, yeah, taste her as you go. But, baby, look at her. Look at her already. And she ain't even cooked yet. Quit playing with her. Okay? So I'm going to put a top on her, and I'm going to let her simmer for about an hour, okay? And then, baby, you got to... You got a hearty meal. <laughs> you got everything you need. Okay, I'll be back. Hey, y'all, I'm back, and I'm finished with this cowboy stew, y'all. When I tell you it's filling and it's going to warm your belly, take a look at her. Look at her. Ain't she cute? She cute. Go on to get a taste. She is cute. Mm-hmm. She got everything in it that you need. Look at her. Oh, oh. Look at her. Come on now. Come on now. Get you a bowl. <laughs> yeah, y'all. But I'm so happy you tuned in with me on this Sunday, y'all. I hope y'all having a fabulous day. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also, hit the bell so you can be notified every time I drop a video, y'all. And if you got extra time, go on and watch a commercial for your girl. But yes, y'all, I love y'all. Please stay safe out there, and I'm going to see you again next time. Bye-bye.